For subtitles, please click here and choose your preferred language. My mother-in-law went to jail for a bit. My husband went to jail. Once we won the election, Sanjay didn't want to be in politics at all. It was a very long delivery. Sanjay was there from 8 in the morning. And he didn't sit for a minute. He rubbed my back down. You know, he made me feel better. My son was exactly 100 days old when Sanjay died. My mother-in-law went to jail for a bit. My husband went to jail. In fact, my husband went to jail regularly and would stay there for about four days or a month. And then I would be rushing around because I'd have to get him his food in the morning, which is six in the morning. Then I'd come to Surya. Then I'd go back with his lunch to court. That's to be expected. Isn't that part of the Indian psyche? In my life now, at this stage, I found it so funny because I go up and down and up and down. And each time, hordes of people either appear or disappear. So that perhaps that did happen at that time. But you know, the, the thing is that if you're a strong person, then it's not the number of people who appear or the number of people who disappear. It was actually the strength of these two people and one little dum who kept it going. I didn't go for it. I didn't go for the second election campaign because I was uh, expecting my son. Mm -hmm. So I stayed behind. I was asked mm -hmm. to, to um, handle things in the house. So I was distributing posters. I know this will come as a surprise, but w once we won the election, Sanjay didn't want to be in politics at all. Mm -hmm. He stood for election again, just to prove a point. You know, just He did not want to lose his first and never win an election. But as soon as we won the election, he, we went to Himachal, mm -hmm. and he wanted to rent or buy um, a, a beautiful little cottage away from everywhere. And he wanted to spend the next couple of years there because he really was very sick. You can't go through that kind of beating and abuse without it showing somewhere. You know, no matter how put together and how stoic you are. And he'd reached a point where he felt that now his mother had come back. Everybody had learned the lessons that they were supposed to learn. We would have been more stable or we would have been more caring, perhaps, whatever we were supposed to be. So he felt his duty was over. So we looked at the house and it really was a little dream cottage. And then we came back and then we were not allowed to buy it. <laughs> I think you, one over-exaggerates his role. Mm -hmm. I have no doubt that he had some say. But ultimately, Mrs. Gandhi did what Mrs. Gandhi was good at doing, which is administration and politics. Um, and Sanjay, you know, at the moment he won his election, he had to go off and campaign for one whole month mm -hmm. for Arun Nehru, who was fighting in a by-election. And so he went off there to Raibareli. And then when he came back, Parliament had begun. But I wouldn't let him go to Parliament because I was in, in the last stages of expecting a baby. So every day when he'd want to go to Parliament, I would say, I think I'm going to have it today. I think I'm going to have the baby today. So he would stay behind. And finally, I did have the baby. And it, it was a very long delivery. And what I remember most about it, you know, one of the nicest things that happened was Sanjay was there from eight in the morning and he didn't sit for a minute, he rubbed my back down. You know, he made me feel better. He held my hand till 10 or two at night. And then when the, and he delivered the baby Definitely. and fell into his arms. Mm -hmm. And when he came out, you know, everybody was a bit frightened because he had blood on him. You know? And he had the baby and he was so thrilled. And, and he'd been there, I mean, it had been the longest labor that I could think of. To what, 14 hours? 
I can't answer that question only because I was so ill and I was ill for um, three months after the baby. I had very high fever. I didn't think I was going to make it. I was just so terribly ill. And Sanjay was caught between being terribly busy in parliament and looking after me. And I was still just on the mend when he died. My son was exactly a hundred days old when Sanjay died. I burst into tears and cried and cried and cried. I said, I've never asked you anything in my life, but now I want you to put your foot down and tell Sanjay he can't fly this plane. That was the worst period because um, when we, my mother in came and said, he's alive. And then she put me into a room and locked the door from outside in Willingdon Hospital. I can deal with the death, I can't deal with the hope. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, press the bell icon and stay entertained.